What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another weekly update for 4-18-2021. Now, we are in the heat of earnings. This is where it is really going to get kicked off for earnings. We just got done with the banks. A lot of the banks did really well. Now we have some of the bigger companies coming into play, especially starting out with Netflix. We do have Netflix on Tuesday after close. Now this is going to be huge in my mind because of the fact that um, it is one of the biggest tech stocks to get started. If Netflix does well, expect that to trickle into other big tech. Other big tech has been really running. Some of the uh, second tier and lower tier tech has not been doing so hot lately, but ultimately uh, I think a lot of money has been flooding into the bigger leading tech companies like your Teslas, your Facebooks, Microsofts, and Apples. But being said, we got Coca-Cola uh, starts on Monday and then we also got IBM on Monday. We got some airlines this week. We have a lot going on. We also have Snap on Thursday. We have Chipotle Wednesday, Verizon Wednesday. There is a lot of big earnings coming this week. So if everything does well, continue to see that this market pushes high. What I'm actually expecting is on Monday is a nice pullback for us to take entries and ride out the rest of this earnings. Now, even though this week is big, I am more concerned about next week. Uh, you got Tesla next week, and that is one of my primary ones that I do look at. You do also have Spotify next week. Uh, I think Facebook is possibly the week after. Some of the earnings have been spread out a little bit more. Uh, but being said, I'm trying to capture Tesla's move this week because I think it's going to move uh, greatly. Actually, some new information, a new article came out about their uh, safety uh, just came out today as well uh, about one accident for every 4.19 million miles driven in which drivers had autopilot engaged. So that is just some massive news that just came out here on Saturday. I am recording this on Saturday, so the futures aren't open. But before we get started with everything else, remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already to get more stock market news. May actually be getting some crypto here too and doing some beginner um, video series on crypto as well. So remember to subscribe for that. I might do a mini series on that. And if that does well, uh, we'll continue with that series as well because ultimately what we're trying to do is leverage our money through the stock market and through uh, whichever means possible, and even crypto is eventually uh, bleeding into that market very much so. So let's go ahead and pull up the charts. So as you can see, well, that's VIPs. <laughs> We're not interested in that one. Uh A lot of stocks, I'm not going to lie, a lot of stocks going over the charts um, are pretty beaten down. Like I said, if it's not uh, an industry leader, it is it is definitely taking a hit and a beating for the worst. Uh, I know this is something that is going to be extremely important moving forward until the bigger leading industry uh, companies can stabilize. I think you're not going to really see a lot of movements out of the lower uh, second tier uh tech companies specifically i know some value has been real some value stocks really been hit this past week as well <clears throat> but being said uh, i think there's some good plays this week uh spy broke up and continued to broke break broke the trend retested it on friday uh, everything looks extremely bullish especially when it's uh when you're talking about again the leads for the industries are are really leading the way and i think really what's driving the market everything aside from that has been taking a massive beating and all the money has been flooded out of it. Uh, I know a lot of money is being flooded into crypto. Again, why I'm bringing up a lot of uh, different aspects about that and starting a new series on that as well. Um, so again, remember to subscribe if you haven't done so, so we can, uh, I can start doing a little mini series on that to kind of get you 
uh, talk about the different exchanges and stuff like that and how you can get into crypto like i've i've i am newly getting into crypto myself so it would be more my journey sharing with you guys to help you uh, get your feet wet on that side of the house as well and what i'm learning along the journey so being said uh, spy in itself it looks really strong uh, going into monday again i would expect some kind of pullback come monday uh, so i wouldn't jump into things uh, right out of the gate I'd give it a little bit of time, let it bleed off, and then get ready for, I think, a big week of earnings coming up. Uh, QQQ, uh, it really battled to break this on Friday. It's been really testing this, although the setup looks really good for Monday. Uh, I expect this to, again, uh, explode out of here come Monday. If we do get some kind of pullback, I would actually be surprised um, if this does a gap come into Monday morning pre-markets and then come back and retest. Um, and that will essentially be your entry point. At least that's what my game plan is for come Monday. Uh, but this week, we don't, aside from everything else, we really don't have a lot. Uh, one thing, too, to keep in mind is uh, next week, uh, when we have the big earnings from Tesla and Spot, and I believe uh, Microsoft might even be in that mix, but, um, but ultimately understand that next week, we also got the Fed next week so that is something to keep in mind you have uh, tesla that reports on the 26th and then you got the fed uh back to back days the 27th and the 28th so with that being said let's go ahead and get into the charts uh or bring up the watch list here would be the first thing uh this is what we got for the watch list this week uh most of these again all these look great on the daily i have uh specific notes for these just because uh, I think uh, it's important, and some of the main ones I'm watching uh, primarily are the ones that have notes on them, and just so you are aware. Again, my primary this week is going to be Tesla because we got earnings on the 26th, like I just mentioned, uh, so I think we're going to have a big run-up till that day. Again, the, when the Fed comes and likes to talk, uh, typically Tesla does not do well in those days, so I just, again, find it kind of uh, funny that you have Tesla on the 26th followed by the Fed. Uh, Airbnb, uh, I want to continue watching this one um, on the daily. It doesn't look the greatest. It's really been beaten down, but it is on a pretty solid support. And news just came out on Friday that they are uh, they need, they're going to need more people uh, to essentially be um, to put up their residence on Airbnb because they the demand is going. They're not going to be able to meet meet demand is the news article that came out from the CEO on Friday. Uh, so that being said, uh, Facebook, again, looks really good on the daily. Uh, I, as far as earnings, I'm not quite sure when Facebook is, uh, but it is coming soon within the next couple of weeks. Uh, coin. Coin is something I want to uh, look at this week as well because of, I know on Friday it started to slowly move up. Uh, and I'm looking for uh, leaps in coin, uh, perhaps Tuesday, when we might actually get some leaps on Tuesday. Uh, so that's something I want to keep an eye on this week. Uh, Twilio looks great on the daily. Uh, all these are earnings too coming up as well. Snap has earnings on Thursday. Uh, this is one thing to keep in mind too. If Snap uh, does do well on Thursday, uh, expect uh, Facebook to get a sympathy play off that. So another big thing to keep in mind this week, uh, even though it looks great on the daily, uh, Thursday, if this does well, if this isn't already running up like crazy, uh, to definitely catch the sympathy play, maybe this goes sideways during the week and then come Thursday, going into earnings, we might see a big rip there. But I do want to uh, capture some of uh, snaps run up into Thursday. Uh, Square is something I want to keep on on the daily. All the rest of these are mostly daily. Uh, BYND is another one that I'm kind of watching because of the fact that uh, I did take a position on this on Friday. Took shares position for their earnings run up. Uh, they always seem to come out with uh, perfectly placed uh, material uh, information on you know new products that they're pushing or new partnerships that they have strategically just before earnings. Uh, causing that $200 run up. It's done it twice already. Uh, I don't really would expect it to do it again. It's done it many times before, but it has been basing for quite a while. That's why I wanted to take position. It was broken above a lot of different things on hourly, which I'll get into in what I am looking for this week. AMD uh, starting to run up, and um, I think it's going to really uh, take off this week as well. 
but that's what I got as far as the watch. Uh, let's actually look at the charts for Tesla. Tesla, I did capture this move. I took a uh, position actually perfectly here on the dip. It's been holding this uh, 325 mark pretty well. Uh, I held it for a day and then we uh, popped nicely up. I did sell this one uh, because it was just struggling really hard. I actually watched this candle open here and it, it had no gas at that point. There was like no volume at that point. It didn't want to go anywhere. And so I got out and then um, we continued to run up at that point. Or continue to kind of die off and just hold. I wanted to actually get back into this position if it held because the market was selling. Uh, but ultimately, um, and then that news article came out, so I wouldn't be surprised if this does gap up over over the weekend. And but I'll be looking for a position on this on Monday, going into um, going into the weekend again on the daily. It uh, looks great. We talked about that wedge before. Uh, if we do come down, I was expecting this to come down to uh, seven. Uh, I was saying 702, but it might actually be 705 at this point. If it even comes back down, I don't think it will retest at all. I think we got a week. It's going to actually run pretty hard. Uh, Airbnb is the one I was talking about news. Again, it's been holding this line very well. I've been playing this. I actually had a position in this, and then that news came out. I captured that news, uh, kind of juiced up the contracts, and I sold my contracts from that point um, yesterday. Because I am recording this on Friday, so I did sell on Friday. Uh, so I did capture the top of this. I sold them. A uh, good thing because it did sell off after hours. But again, I think this it had some negative news about them putting restrictions on the places and stuff like that. Uh, that's why we had this major dip here. But ultimately, uh, it's consolidating nicely in here. And then with that news, I think uh, I'll look more into when the earnings date is on Airbnb. But I expect this to really start moving and exploding along uh, with the market. So something I want to keep an eye on this week, especially with that news coming out. Uh, I've talked about this one kind of all year or since it's IPO'd, uh, but ultimately I think it's going to have a big year. Uh, it's just ultimately watching it at this point and, and seeing when it wants to move. Also, it, because ultimately if we can break above this 200, uh, I think again, the news brought it back below the 200, but I think if we can break above this 200 again, I think we really are going to start uh, testing some some new all-time highs at that point. Uh, so Airbnb is on watch. Facebook Facebook has already had a pretty mean run-up, uh, but nonetheless, it's been kind of basing out. It's looking like it's consolidating again. And I, like I said, it might actually pull back. Uh, but on the daily, as you can see, if we can get down to that, that 300 mark on Facebook, uh, which is something I'm looking for, if we can touch that, I think um, that would be a perfect entry. And then we can... As so you're looking at 300 mark here, that put us at a pretty solid support here, actually. If we can capture that, I think, and then get some snap earnings, some positive snap earnings, I think this will really run, uh, do another uh, pre-run up into earnings in itself. Now, coin, um, coin daily, I mean, there's no point really looking at the daily, but on the hourly, uh, it's been holding the zone really well. And then we actually started breaking up on Friday. I did take a couple of really small shares on this, um, just a random account uh, that I had. So um, ultimately, I think this one will run. But what I'm ultimately waiting for is the leaps. Uh, if you can get, be the first to get your hands on some leaps on coin, I think they will, um, especially if the market starts really pushing, I think this can really uh, make a huge move uh, the over the next couple of weeks and take advantage of, of the setup for, for coin. Uh, now, uh, Twillow is the other one I have for you guys. I've been talking about Twillow for a while. On the daily, it's always been looking uh, extremely good, actually. If we do, I would really like a retest back down here at the probably around like the 368 mark, uh, maybe even at rebasing here at the 370 mark. Uh, but ultimately, it's got tons of room to run. Again, you do have earnings coming up. It looks like on May 5th, uh, so we might actually run up to try to go to retest all-time highs. Twilio is a great cloud uh, space. Uh, definitely check out the fundamentals on cloud or on Twilio uh, for sure. And next one I do have is Snap. Snap is one of those ones that I think it retested here. I did uh, take this on Friday. This is one of my other ones I had, and it did go up and retest the middle metal Bollinger Band, but I didn't like the way the market was looking. Uh, the way the market was looking. So I sold, I sold them when they popped up. I had a chance to re-enter, but I did not. Um, 
I wanted to, again, I, I had a feeling that we're going to have a Monday melt off again because of this. I did uh, capture it down here and I got the pop and I ended up selling up here and then it continued to sell off. I was looking to get back in once I hit the 200, but um, I'll wait and see how Monday plays out. Uh, last thing I want is for this to break below the 200 and, and then play it from there because if it does break, um, you got a little bit of room to drop. So I'd rather wait to capture it at a, at a different support at that point. Uh, Square is another one who always does well, especially with the crypto space and stuff. Square is something I really want to keep an eye on, especially with crypto, crypto and everything really running and stuff. And I think we'll continue to run over the next couple months. Uh, something to keep in mind is look at those, those a lot of different companies that are in the getting into crypto. Uh, but uh, Square has got their had their foot in the door. So uh, one thing I definitely want to keep on, especially going into earnings. Is to see some strong support. I see here on the daily, this uh, probably the 247 mark is something I'm really looking at because we got earnings on May 6th. So, May, so the next two weeks after this week are really setting up for these. Uh, it looks actually like we're creating a wedge here, actually, to be honest, on the daily. Uh, so, I'll be definitely keeping an eye on this wedge. Uh, maybe we continue to sell off. Until we hit that 248 mark and then uh, continue up from that point. But I do like uh, squares, so something to keep an eye on. Tan is something else um, that looks really good. We've been uh, actually holding. The reason I wanted to bring this one up because it's it's been holding this wedge in for a while now, and it's been beaten down quite a bit for this since March and everything else. Uh, but being said, we are coming at a very crucial point. I think uh, come Monday we might actually pop above this and then try to reclaim uh, a lot of this ground on TAN. Uh, so there could be a big mover, just uh, in my opinion, probably buy a couple of leaps in this ultimately, and then um, and let this ride back out to retest all-time highs. So that's why I want to bring TAN up because it looks like it's getting primed, and come Monday, might actually open up above this and start burning and getting that nice breakout. Uh, BYND is one, like I talked about, on the daily, we finally broke above uh, the 20 in the middle of Bollinger Band and retested it. I really like the setup. I want it back over this. Again, I'm just in shares in this. I'm not planning on, on grabbing leaps or anything like that out of this. I do have this set, though. Once it actually breaks back above the 20 and the 50 here, um, or the, the 200 and the 50 here, I, I might actually take some leaps at that point. I do have... Um, some alerts set for that particular one. So if it does break that, look to ride that into earnings as well. Uh, so I do like BYND. I don't play BYND much, but when, we, when we've when we been consolidating a lot like this, this is what I love about this uh, particular stock is it consolidates like this. And then you, this is when you see the monster moves back up to 200. And so uh, again, I have uh, some shares right now. Again, I'll look at leaps if it does break that uh, 140 mark. Uh, which has really been kind of a market that's been holding it down. As soon as it does break that, might actually look into getting leaps this week uh, for that. Now, AMD is the next one I have. AMD on the daily looks good. AMD has earnings on next week. So that is another big one to keep an eye on. Again, it's broken above and retesting. Pretty much you've got clear headspace. Yes, you do have some speed bumps going up, uh, but now that you're above all the EMAs, and have them support. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this candle opens up here. Again, one thing to keep in mind on the daily, make sure that candle opens up up here, and then you get all these EMAs essentially right underneath that candle, which is a very bullish uh, setup and a big run for AMD. Uh, so we are looking at that. Uh, this is another one I am keeping an eye on. But that's what I got for you guys, uh, short and sweet. Uh, there's a lot going on. Just uh, play your favorite stocks. For, again, remember to play the leads in the industries that you like to play because ultimately right now, especially if you like growth, a lot of the, again, second tier and, and lower cap uh, tech stocks have really been taking a beating like your uh, Palantir and your NNDM have really been battered down pretty hard. Uh, so just keep that in mind and continue to um, go, go with the ones that you really feel uh, will give you the best, best bang and are leading in their industry. So again, remember to manage risk. Remember to uh, do well, enjoy it, and uh, don't risk it all on Dogecoin.
or GME. <laughs> so until next time, guys, I will see you guys later.